and then turn the layer off. Okay, so now here are the triangles that are associated with this object. And we can go ahead and click on our surface types. Instead of having that be shaded, we can say, we can make that fast textures. These textures haven't solved too fast here, have they? Okay, hit options. Uh, it's locked up. Fancy that. Oh, there it goes. There's my fast textures. I was moving too fast for my fast textures. So we can see we've got some fast textures here. And there's our model. And we can actually go to quality textures. If we really wanted to see what this is going to look like. It's going to... There we go. So there's, there's our model. It has triangles. No. Let's go ahead and convert that point mesh to a surface. Okay. It says it's got 11,000 triangles. That may slow things down. Convert it. No, we can. Oh, look at that. Okay. We can decimate the triangles even further here. So let's do another 60% decimation on this thing. Let's see what it does. I don't think it doesn't look like it reduced it any got rid of 15 triangles or so, 10 triangles. Not even added it. So it looks like it's working hard to fill some holes before they get some. Okay. We're going to take point mesh 3 and we can put that into a new layer. We'll call that 3. We'll put the select object in. Make that object go away. Like so. Okay. I think that's suitable for the present time. So I'll select the object, the point mesh, and we're going to convert it to a surface. But look, it did reduce the number of triangles, right about a half. So I think 56 is not going to be too bad. So just say OK. We'll create those triangles, create the surface. Let the blue bar advance. Shouldn't take too long. OK. Now I'm going to come into the surface types, and I don't want to see point missions, I just want to see the surface. There it is. And I think the surface needs to be flipped. That seems to be pretty commonly. So we're going to come up here to marking surface tools. We're going to flip the surface. That looks like the right surface. We'll go ahead and turn on fast textures just to verify. Yeah. There's our fast texture. Okay, it's in the right direction. If we want to do, we could make quality textures again. Just map that back on top. Not sure it did. Quality textures, update textures. There we go. It's going to remap it. Let the blue bar march forward. So you can see that there are certain advantages to not working with quality textures when your models get really big. Okay, there it is. So there's our textures, there's our model. Let's bring it around. And now we're ready to export it to SketchUp. So file, export, export model. What I found works is this 3DS format. Shape faces, surfaces, quality, photo textured materials, bicubic, JPEG, high quality. 
we can set this higher, but SketchUp has certain limits on the size of the texture map. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave this as is for now and say OK. And we'll just leave it be called the same thing, .3ds. Let that save. While that's saving, I'm going to go ahead and open up Google SketchUp. out the model. Looks like it's done it. One layer, one material. There's our model. Close that. Come back to SketchUp. Something else. File. Import. And then we want to go to our scanner. Model 14. There's our 3DS S export file, click open, it's opening it up, we got one material, one mesh, no errors, we can close this now, I find I have to use the mouse wheel and roll, roll, roll back, and there's our texture and our model, we're going to have to place it there, zoom in a little bit, I find I always have to do is rotate the model a little bit, and then take this rotate tool, put the rotate tool on this surface, and rotate it 90 degrees. And then grab the model, put it back over here. Back in here a little bit more. Okay. Slide in. And then we want to view edge style. We don't want to display the edges. Oops. Don't want to make them all jump around either. Click the select tool, click off of it, and there's our model. your profile. Great. You can save it. Save that in my SketchUp models. We'll just call it Model 14 Profile. We're done.